welcome to our new topic. So this time we will discuss on trigonometry. And first thing we will discuss is about the right triangle. Okay, so we will know that we have this trigonometric actions. I just write it first. So basically we have six functions that we are going to solve today, but most frequently patlo po ang kadalasan pinagamit. Okay, so as we go, we have here the trigonometric functions. We are okay, so going to na ako ng ating isang triangle. Then we go there. C B A or angle A B C. So here all three angles are passive. Ito ang tatlong angles. All three angles. This is a sine for angles are passive. Wala pa ng negative sa kanila ng tatlo. Next one. The sum of the three angles are equivalent to 180 degrees. The sum of the three triangles is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so we can uh, we can write there angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And we all know that 180 degrees is 1 pi. Okay? So let's now proceed to another drawing. If the angles of the triangle, pag ito po sabi na po yung angle niya, is a right triangle, we all know that right triangle is equal to 90 degrees. Pag sabi po natin, right, hindi po siya. Right triangle, sige sabi po niya, 90 degrees po yan. At pag ang angle is right, we could tell this shape is right triangle. Okay? Kasi nga, may mga, may mga angles din, may mga triangle din po tayo, hindi naman talaga right triangle. Like this one, so hindi po siya hindi po siya right triangle like this one okay so hindi rin po siya right triangle but when you say that when we have right angle we call this triangle as right triangle okay so here we can say gray po rin tayo sa pang triangle we can say that this is a by the way, if we are going to uh, see the angle, we can say that right or we can write the, uh, this one, theta. Because I think that it's just theta. And this one is D. We can use the ABC to see the angle. And we have here letter C. So this is right triangle. There, we can see that uh, letter C is the angle. There, we can see that letter C give them parts. First, if it is right triangle, yung katabi po niya, we call it as adjust. Okay? We call it as adjust. Yung sa side po nito, we call it as opposite. And the, long, the longer one is, guess what? This is letter H, hypotenuse. We call it as hypotenuse. So these are the parts of the front. The triangle. We can say that Pythagorean theorem. So this is the formula for Pythagorean theorem. So we have here a squared plus b squared is equals to c squared. Okay, so let me put natin ang value. Okay, so we have we will have an example for this theorem and we will prove that this is true. So, doi po ni tayo ng isang right triangle. So, let's have A, B, and C. And this one, the hypotenuse is B, C. Since C squared is our longest part. So, we can assume here this is 3. This one is 4. 
X for hypotenuse and O for opposite. Okay? So, para later, mga sabi ito tayo sa discussion. So, how about cosine? Ito sa cosine class. So, this will be the initial S O X. So, we have so. Okay, next one, we have cosine. Uh, palitin natin ang konti. Sa cosine naman, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ang initial po natin dito ay ka. So, meron na po tayo so ka. How about tangent? Sa tangent naman po, ang formula natin is opposite over adjacent. So, meron po tayo tawa na po. So, kung naririnig niyo po, ito po yung so ka tawa. Okay? So, this one is the so ka tawa. Ang gagawin na po natin class para mas madali po natin ang itinihan inverse Okay, inverse lang po natin ito kay sine ito kay cosine at itong cotangent kay tangent So, ang gagawin lang natin para hindi mo siya numerapan pa kapalit pa natin lang natin Kaya dapat alam din yung pagkakarage dito Okay, si cosecant pabalitin lang natin yung OH so magiging hypotenuse over Opposite. So, meron po tayo itong initials na chok. Okay? Si cos, uh, sorry, si second, pabalit din natin si cosine. So, we have here x over a. So, siya. Tama ba? Okay, next, we have cotangent. Pabalit din natin plus si tangent. So, we have here a over o. Okay? Or how? So, we have so katawa cho sha kao okay so katawa cho sha kao okay that's our initials okay so ito na po excited na ako para sumagot tayo ng isang problem so let's have a problem okay so this time this is our example angle a b c ngayon lagyan natin ng konti quiz ang hanapin po natin ay si angle a okay So, since meron na naman po ang letters dito, hindi na po natin lalagay ng sign theta, lalagay na po natin ng sign A. So, we are hunting for hunting by sign A. Okay? So, we have cos A. So, pagkaya naman kayo na po siya, alam nyo na po. Sign, cosine. We have third is tan A. Tangent A. Then, kapalit na po ni sign. We have the cos theta. So, we have final yun to. Pag cosecant plus CSC, A. We have cosine. Ano pa kanyang baliktad? Second A. And sa tangent, we have cotangent. Okay. So, let's start. Since we are solving for angle A, so, ang kanyang po magiging is isa sa future plan natin plus ang sokatawa. Okay. So, kaya kung hindi po muna siya dito ka para mas madali po natin. So, so, we are hunting for A and the A. So, sa side A, we have opposite. Ano ba ang kanyang opposite? A. So, pag ganyan ito ang opposite. Ano po ang kanyang hypotenuse? C. So, the answer is small letter lang po nato. May hindi po big letters. Kasi we are on the sides. A over C. Next, we have cosine A. Cosine A. So, ang formula is adjusted over hypotenuse. So, ang kanyang adjusted class is B over C. I hope you are getting the tricks. Okay, next one. We have the tangent A. So, ito na po tayo. O to C over adjusted. So, letter A over B. Okay, so class, sabi mo kanina para ma-memorize po natin. Babalitan mo lang po natin yung mas taas. Okay, so over A. C over B and ano yung tangent? B over A. I-check lang natin plus para ka naman kung kapag yung cosecant A. Ang cosecant A ito po siya hypotenuse over opposite. C over opposite A. So tama ka po siya. Ganun lang po siya. Kasi nga. Okay, so we have here triangle A and then we have triangle B. Tingnan po natin yung difference. Dito po ang hinahanap na ang wala po tayo ng letters. Pag wala po tayo ng letters, pwede po natin i-upgrade as sine theta. 
Okay, so means, since we are hunting for sine theta, so alam natin na ang sine is opposite over hypotenuse, ang sagot natin is 3, over, okay, check ko lang po. Next one, we have uh, cosine theta. So ang sagot natin sa cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So ang sagot natin ay 4 over 5. Okay, next one, we have tangent theta. So, ang sagot ko namin sa tangent, we have opposite over adjust 3 over 4. Okay? So, pag hinanap ng cosecant, tapat-tapat na lang yun yan. Cosecant theta, second theta, and cotangent theta. So, ang sagot ko namin, 5 over 3, 5 over 4, and 4 over 3. Okay, see? We'll do this one. So, hinanap namin dito. Since ang hinahanap naman natin class, ito po, pwede mga kailangan ng luto, ito na po yung natin. So, we have sign theta. So, what is the opposite? 12. 12 is the opposite. What is the height of the mistakes na po yan? 30. Okay, next one, we have the cosine theta. So, what is the adjacent? 5. Hinahanap na ka. Okay, 5. Over what is the hypotenuse? 30 by 5 over 3. How about tangent? Tangent theta is equal to uh, opposite. What is the opposite? 12 by 1 is the adjacent. 5. Okay, so, makukuha po natin ang um, cosecant theta, second theta, and cotangent theta by simply reversing. Okay, so pag delivers po natin yan, 13 over 12, this one, 13 over 5, and the last one, 5 over 5. Okay, so when we are getting both second theta, or the letters, uh, for the meantime theta po, pag wala pong ibigay na letter, pag may ibigay po na letter, madali na ibigay So, this equals to 1 over sine theta. Same lang po yung dalawa niya. Okay? Number 2, another uh, trivia. Second theta is equals to 1 over cosine theta. Okay? Another, number 3, cotangent theta is equals to 1 over tangent. Kaya ang kanina, kini-reverse mo. Pansin yung trivia mo yung magkaka- Okay, next number 4. Dito ko na lang po siya yung lagay. Number 4. Um, we have tangent theta is equals to sine theta over cosine theta. Same lang din po yan. Next, another one. Number 5. We have cotangent theta is equals to cosine theta over sine theta. Okay? So, pag nakalagay tayo ng mga problem na ganito, pwede na po siyang i-convert sa pag-tangent theta. Okay? Okay, last, sine square theta plus cot, uh, cos sine square is equals to 1. Okay? So, para saan po ba yan? Later, sa next po natin lesson, we will uh, use this one to solve the negative for, but for the new time, uh, is to use this uh, how to get or how to determine the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse of the prior functions. Again, thank you very much for this day. I hope you understand the topic on trigonometry, the right triangle. If you have questions, feel free to comment in the comment section or message me at my uh, Gmail account, teacher Aris Kaasi at gmail.com Again, thank you very much for watching. I'm your math teacher, bringing you lessons. Mm -hmm.